I put this four node mini AI cluster rack inside of my big rack so I can run large language models locally. On the side, I have a five gigabit ethernet switch from Nick Giga, and then I have four of these framework desktop nodes that are in two U trays that are made by a company called DeskPy. The trays are not yet available, but they will be soon, hopefully. And then this is a black T1 mini rack. It's eight U high, and you can see it's half the width of a full size rack. Here's a quick look at the backside. You can see that inside each one has a fan on top and a CPU cooler and a little power supply. They're all plugged into this guy, which is plugged into my smart outlet, which I monitor in Home Assistant so I can get power usage. And that way I can monitor everything in my Home Assistant dashboards and see how energy efficient different AI models are running locally. To automate everything, I set up this project that uses Ansible and it builds a Beowulf AI cluster, basically using any kind of computer. In this case, it's using these AMD chips, but you could run this on something like a Raspberry Pi too. I posted all my benchmarking data and test data on my blog and in a video on YouTube that's a lot longer and goes into a lot more detail. But if you want to find those, you can just search for Jeff Geerling and Framework Desktop Cluster or something like that. Anyway, it's pretty fast and pretty interesting, but it's still not quite as good of a value as something like the M3 Ultra Mac Studio if you want to run huge large language models.